Welcome back to Marty's Toy Box. For today's video, we have maybe one of the greatest pay-per-views of the year. This is NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver, and I am coming at you guys with my predictions. So, we have two nights for this um, pay-per-view, and both nights are absolutely stacked. Um, night 1 is being streamed on USA and Peacock tonight, and then Night 2 is specifically only um, Peacock. And honestly, I think this pay-per-view might take my top WrestleMania this year. WrestleMania's got some good matches, but I'm not really um, looking forward to uh, WrestleMania as much as I am as NXT TakeOver. Um, I know some might feel the same way, a lot of you might disagree with me, but that is just my opinion. Anyway, kicking us off with our predictions, we have Io Shirai versus Raquel Gonzalez with Dakota Kai for the NXT Women's Championship. Um, I, I can see this match going two ways. Either Io Shirai retains, but what I think is going to happen or what I'm going with is Raquel Gonzalez wins, probably with the help of Dakota Kai, and we have a new NXT Women's Champion. And then I'm thinking we see Io Shirai go to the main roster after like the Raw after Mania or SmackDown. I think we could possibly see an Io Shirai and Bianca Belair feud. If not, we will see a Io Shirai and Rhea Ripley feud. Anyways, my pick for this match is Raquel Gonzalez winning in a heel finish. And Io Shirai finally drops the title. She has had this title for a long, long time. Anyways, next up, we do have the Triple Threat Tag Team Match. We have MSK versus the Grizz Grizzled Young Veterans versus Legado Del T Fantasma. And this is a three-way match for the NXT titles. They were vacated because um, Danny Burch, I think, was injured with a shoulder injury. So they had to drop the titles. And now we have this match. And this match is going to be a really good match, in my opinion. But... I only can see MSK winning this. I know they just started, but they won the Dusty Classic, performed amazingly, and I don't see Legado Del Fantasma winning or Grizzled Young Veterans. If we had other tag teams, maybe I would say that MSK would lose, but with this lineup we have for this match, I'm going with N MSK winning. And I'm super excited that they're going to finally be getting a push if they do win. But they have looked fantastic down in NXT so far. Um, big things for them in the future. I definitely see them being like Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Champions um, in their careers in WWE. But definitely MSK winning this match. Next up, was, this was announced last night. Um, the Night 1 pre-show, we have Tony Storm versus Zoe Stark. Um, this match kind of, I don't really watch NXT UK, so I don't know if it was built up on there, but it was out of nowhere for me, but I'm going with just Tony Storm winning this match and the clean finish. I don't really care for this match. I, if I'm being honest, I don't even know who Zoe Stark is. I think she's an NXT UK wrestler. Not too sure though, but my pick, Tony Storm. Next up, we do have the six man match. A six-man gauntlet match, and the winner receives a North American Championship match on night two. So we have Leon Ruff, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Bronson Reed, Cameron Grimes, Dexter Loomis, and L.A. Knight. This, mm, I have two picks winning this match. Either Dexter Loomis or L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight just got in NXT, and he did lose his debut match to Bronson Reed. So I don't really think he'll be going anywhere. And Dexter Loomis has been feuding with Gargano, was feuding with Gargano. Um, I think they could reignite that. But my pick is Dexter Loomis to win this match. And as a second pick, a backup pick, I'm going with LA Knight. Don't think it'll happen, but it'll be pretty cool to see Eli Drake. Um, it was a great heel down in Impact Wrestling. Um, but no, Dexter Loomis winning this match. Next up, we do have the Clash of the Titans. So Walter versus Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT UK Championship. This match is only going one way. It's going to be a phenomenal match, but Walter is winning. Because if he doesn't win, that means Ciampa will have to take time away from normal NXT and go to NXT UK to defend the title and stuff like that. Or vice versa, where NXT UK guys have to go to NXT to get a shot at the title. 
I don't know. It's going to be a great match, but there's no way Tommaso Ciampa wins and takes the title because that'll just mess everything up that they had going, honestly. Um, Because with NXT UK, they film it far away, so it would just be really hard for booking and getting the superstars into feuds and stuff like that. So my pick, Walter, to take this match. And then, last but not least, for night one, we have Pete Dunne versus Kushida. This match was announced on NXT last Wednesday, and this is going to be a phenomenal match. Both of these guys can put on amazing matches. There's really nothing special about this match, no stipulation, no title shot or anything. Just two men going at it one-on-one. And my pick to win this match, oh... I gotta go with Pete Dunne. I don't think... Uh, I don't know, though, because Kushida can win... Mm, this is really a tough choice to pick who's going to win this match. It's going to be a phenomenal match no matter what. Um, Got to go with my gut and go with Pete Dunne now. I see Pete Dunne winning this match. And I'm really excited for this match. I think the matches I'm most excited for tonight um, is the ladder match for the tag titles. Or just a normal match for the tag titles. Um, and then Walter versus Ciampa and Pete Dunne versus Kushida. Don't really care about the six-man match to determine the winner facing the North American champion in the night two. Um, and don't care about Tony Storm versus Zoe Stark. That match came out of nowhere. Anyways, for this match, I have Pete Dunne winning. Next up, starting off night two, Johnny Gargano versus the winner of the gauntlet match. Um, I went with Dexter Loomis winning the match, and so I think we're going to see Dexter Loomis versus um, Johnny Gargano, and I think finally we will see Gargano drop the title. It's WrestleMania season, Mania is Saturday and Sunday, we have the Raw after Mania and SmackDown after Mania where NXT guys are known to come up, or people are known to debut on the main roster from different companies and stuff like that, like we had Bobby Lashley a couple years ago and stuff like that. And I don't know if we'll see Gargano go to the main roster. I don't think we will because of the feud going on right now. um, With like him and Austin Theory and then Dexter Loomis. And this just fits right in with the feud as well. Dexter Loomis winning. He's been like, he kidnapped Austin Theory and stuff like that. So I'm going with, we're going to get Dexter Loomis versus Johnny Gargano. And Gargano will drop the title. And I don't know what's after that for Gargano. Either main roster or stay in like non title feuds. But my pick, Dexter Loomis, or whoever wants to go on it, pretty much taking the title from Gargano. Next up, we do have um, the women's title or the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship match Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart versus The Way, which is Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. And they released NXT Women's Tag Team Titles for no reason. Personally, it defeats the whole purpose of the Women's Tag Team Titles for me. Um, I enjoyed seeing that, like, we could see the SmackDown Women's Tag Team Champions. Like, someone knows on SmackDown that's a tag team that the Women's Champions. Just go down to NXT sometime and just, like, show up. And we would get a feud, a little feud down to NXT. It was out of nowhere. Always a surprise. And no. They release NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. For this match, though, I have Ember Moon and Chelsea Blackheart winning. If they drop the titles, then the the titles are a joke. I mean, we had the titles released, um, and then they changed that same night. And now, two, three weeks later, they're going to be dropped again. I don't really see that happening. Makes the title look like a joke, and just to pass it around to other people. Um, but my pick, Chelsea Blackheart and Ember Moon, to take this match. Next up, what's going to be a instant classic? Jordan Devlin versus Santos Escobar in a ladder match to determine the Cruiserweight Champion. Um, Jordan Devlin was the Cruiserweight Champion, but then all the stuff hit. He couldn't like get past the borders or anything to go down to NXT to fight or anything like that. He kind of just stayed off NXT for months on months. So we had a new champion, Santos Escobar. Um, he's the interim one. And this one is a ladder match as well. So it's going to be amazing. Uh, I don't really know who I have winning this match. I think Santos Escobar because he has been getting a like insane push recently almost. Like He's been demolishing everyone and stuff like that. 
and Jordan Devlin. I don't know. This could really go either way, in my opinion. Um, Santos Escobar or Jordan Devlin winning. They either just pick up where they left off last year and have Devlin start feuding with people again. Um, more feuds open up that way if Devlin wins. But I think Santos Escobar is going to win, and we might see um, like Santos Escobar's crew, um, the people who are fighting for the tag team titles. I forget their names off the top of my head, um, but they might interfere. So for this match, it's a really tough choice. It can really go either way. But I'm going with Santos Escobar to win the match and become the official Cruiserweight Champion. Next up, the match of the night, the match of the week, the match of everything. This no match at all this week will top this unsanctioned match between Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. I don't care what match happens, what happens in the match, no match. I'm calling it right now. Not a single match will top this unsanctioned match. O'Reilly, Cole phenomenal competitors um i've i watched roh when they were wrestling down there like all the different companies that i've been to i've watched their matches and both of these men can put on an instant classic now when you give them one-on-one -on -one and an unsanctioned match on top of that anything can happen and it's going to be an instant classic of a match and i don't know who i have winning this though i'm going to go with kyle o'reilly winning it and we might see Cole go to the main roster. I don't really know what's next for Adam Cole. Either A, um, he just leaves NXT in general and goes to like AEW or something. They've been teasing that a lot. Like the Good Brothers have. Probably Anderson and Luke Gallows. Um, or we can see Cole go to the main roster. Or just start being a singles competitor in NXT. Which I don't really see that happening. So there's only really two ways this can go. Either he exits the company or goes to the main roster. Um, I'm pretty sure it was rumored that he's re-signed his contract for a five-year deal a couple months back. So, I th I think we will see Adam Cole on the main roster. I was hoping they would do this out a different way. Undisputed Era. They go to the main roster the same way they entered NXT. Earlier in the night of, like, Raw or SmackDown or something, they attack... Well, it would have to be Raw. Earlier in the night, they attack the Tag Team Champions. Later in the night, in the main event, we have Drew McIntyre, the WWE Champion, fighting in just a match. And after the fact, Adam Cole comes out, O'Reilly and Fish come out, and they all destroy McIntyre, and they enter the main roster the same exact way they entered NXT, but that's not happening. Because they're going with Adam Cole versus the Undisputed Era. So we could see Adam Cole fight um, Roderick Strong and Bobby Fish if he's back by then. And then go to the main roster, but my pick for this match, Kyle O'Reilly wins. Adam Cole goes to the main roster Monday or Friday after Mania. Simple as that. This match, though, nothing's going to top this match. I'm calling it right now. Next up, the main event. Karrion Cross versus Finn Balor. A normal match for the NXT Championship. This match... It's going to be a great match. I mean, Cross won the title, got injured, had to drop it. Kind of the same way Finn Balor won the Universal title, was the first ever Universal Champion, and had to drop it the next night from a shoulder injury. And so they're kind of in the same way, on the same boat for that. Um, my pick for this match, though, it's going to be a great, grueling match. Carrying Cross wins. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with Balor, though. I think whoever loses this match will go to the main roster as well. Possibly. We're going to see a few people go to the main roster Monday and Friday from NXT. And I don't think... It's way too early for Cross to go to the main roster. He's had a couple matches down to NXT. He's been a force to be reckoned with. Was Won the title, then had to leave for injury. Um, but I think we'll see Cross pick up the title. And I'm not too sure if Finn Balor will go back to the main roster or not. He went down to NXT because they had nothing for him on the main roster. So, don't really know what will happen with that. But anyways, cross winning to end off NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver. So be sure to check back to the channel. Um, I think they, my WrestleMania predictions will come out Friday morning. Um, before A day before WrestleMania. And I filmed this one late. So we have NXT TakeOver Night 1 tonight. But... I think NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver will definitely top WrestleMania. 
this year. And I think that O'Reilly and Cole will be the best match of the week across all promotions, across AEW, across Impact Wrestling, across WrestleMania, across NXT, everything. This match will be unforgettable. Anyways, that is all I do have for you guys for this video. I hope you all did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time.